Hello and welcome to Triple N Season. You know what that means, guys. We cannot go ahead. Dare I say, you know what happens to hoodlums who fracture the laws of Triple N Season? It was an accident, I swear. I, I didn't mean anything. It is not I, but you as a wrongdoing, and we must extinguish these flames. What, what are you talking about, JMT? I, I swear, I, I, I didn't mean it. Why are you pointing that at me? Have you ever thought about replacing your primary melee weapon with an objective weapon? Well, don't, because it's a horrible idea. I recently got a comment about someone asking me to test the stats of the current two objective map weapons in the game and how they compare to the other melee weapons. So today, that's what we're going to test. The two objective map weapons in the game are the sledgehammer and the shovel. The sledgehammer can be found in catacombs that is used to break down a wall and progress through the map. The shovel can be found in Vardahus Fortress behind a cell that you have to blow up with a cannon. That is then used to clear the snow drifts to progress through the map. I did a couple of tests with these two items and how they compare to the other four melee weapons that can be found in Guts and Black Powder, and that would be the Saber, the Hand Axe, the Sapper's Axe, and the Chaplain Stake. So the first thing I tested was the swing rate. The shovel has a slower swing rate than the Saber, Hand Axe, and the Stake, but it has a faster swing rate than the Sapper's Axe. So it's pretty much in between, but it's very similar to the Sapper's Axe more than it is to the Saber, the Hand Axe, and the Stake. So the swing rate overall for the shovel is pretty bad. And the Sledgehammer has the exact same swing rate as the Sapper's Axe, and these are both of the slowest swing rates in the game. So for the first test, the swing rate is very slow for both weapons. The second thing I tested was the ways to swing each weapon. The shovel has the same ways to swing as the hand axe, which is right, left, and up. And the sledgehammer has the same ways to swing as the sapper's axe, which is left and up. The only two melee weapons in the game that can swing in all of the directions are the saber and the stake. The only reason I did test this is because sometimes being able to swing down actually helps with runners that come at you. But of course, you can take runners off easier and almost all all the time guaranteed if you swing up on someone that got tackled. The third and the last thing I tested was the damage. The shovel takes two hits to kill a shambler before the lighthouse, and it takes three hits to kill a shambler during the lighthouse scene in Vardhus Fortress. This is pretty much the same damage that the saber does, also taking two hits before lighthouse and three hits during. For some of the zombies, I was able to two hit most of them unless they already took some critical damage or if any damage was applied at all, but the shovel pretty much has the same damage as the saber. The only two melee weapons weapons that do more damage in the final part of Vardahus Fortress would be the Sapper's Axe and the Hand Axe, making them the better option. And actually, the Sapper in general is just a good class to have in Vardahus Fortress for the building mechanic that it provides. The Sledgehammer takes one hit to kill a Shambler before the last stand in Catacombs, and two hits to kill a Shambler during the last stand. This is the exact same damage as the Sapper's Axe, which takes one hit to kill before last stand and two hits during it. The Hand Axe is the only other melee weapon that also does two hits during Catacombs last stand, and would be the better option in my opinion considering its swing rate and how fast it is. However, the sledgehammer might be a good weapon for the chaplain to use though, since the stake does horrible damage, so it's got nice. a positive there. Overall, both of the weapons I would not suggest to use to replace your melee, I would just use them as objective weapons. I mean, the only time that I think I would use it is if I was playing chaplain class, and then I could use the sledgehammer to kill in the final part of catacombs. So let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section down below, and whether or not you guys will be using the shovel and the sledgehammer. Please don't. If I see anyone replace this, I, bad things will happen. If you guys have any more questions on Guts and Black Powder, let me know in the comment section as well. We'll try to answer those and possibly make them video titles as well. Who knows? But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is JMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.